Earlier today, the Ireland women's team were out to create history by completing their first ever Triple Crown win. Here's Wesley Lilly to tell us all about the bid. A little over 20 years since Ireland and Scotland met in both countries' first ever women's international, the Irish were back in Scotland seeking a historic first Triple Crown and World Cup qualification to boot. When Philip Doyle first took charge of the Irish women's team, they hadn't scored a try in over two years. Now Alison Miller has scored five in just two matches. The former Leash footballer finishing off a fine backline move to put Ireland 8-3 up in the 27th minute. Niamh Briggs' boot pushed Ireland further ahead early in the second half and Briggs was again involved in Ireland's second try. Who else but Miller providing the finish? Ireland now well in control. 18-3 up heading into the final quarter. Tralee flanker Siobhan Fleming was next over the whitewash. Lynn Cantwell again involved before some great interplay between backs and forwards. Ireland's lead now stood at 25 points to three. Neave Briggs completed the scoring, giving the Waterford woman a personal haul of 15 points for the afternoon. A fantastic line from the fullback. After years of buying their own gear, travelling to France at 3am and sleeping on gymnasium floors, finally some tangible rewards for the Irish women's team. But this has been a collective work from you know the last 10, 15 years from all those players that have soldiered on for us and you know we're we're just happy to keep the ball rolling and we have to keep progressing all the time and that's what we're hoping to do. This is just massive for us, you know, it probably won't hit us till even a week or so, but um, it's great just to have done it when you believe you can do something and actually carry it out. It's a great feeling, so it's a massive day. To win anything in any sport takes a, it takes an awful long time and, and you have to learn how to win something and now we've learned how to win a triple crown and that, that was, have been our goal for many, many years. So we're going to just take it on board now, enjoy ourselves this evening, obviously, and then but back to work Monday. France up next at Ashburn, a Grand Slam still very much on the cards. George Hook, you were the first ever woman's coach, were you not? But what, you Wesley, what Wesley said was right there. I mean, it's natural in, in a, a misogynistic sport like rugby that women were always going to get the short straw and they had to push themselves in there and they did it by okay. virtue of their talent. So it's it's great, I must say. And, and to Philip Doyle, don't forget Philip Doyle. He's been with this team for so long.